So not only did you leave me in the club, you're not going to make sure I get home safe. Like you weren't even going to tell me before you left. You just left. So why would you leave someone that's not a partier in the club by themselves? What is the point of that? Bro, have you lost your mind? This is not over. That man is still running at large. Like it's not over yet. Welcome back to my channel. I am back with another book review. This book is titled The Lucky One and it is by Jeremy Smith. I would say that this book could be considered maybe a psychological thriller a little bit. I would say um, Miss Elizabeth, okay? She's referred to as Liz in this book. Miss Liz is new to the state of New York. I believe she moved from Pennsylvania, maybe it was Pittsburgh specifically. She moves up to New York and she comes to hang out with her friends and her friends are super surprised like, oh, you've never stayed out at a club and danced all night before. And she's like, I'm not going to be staying out until 10, 11 o'clock at night. OK, I get tired and I go to bed early. So her homegirls and friends dis decide to, you know, go ahead and invite her out. Let's get you out of the house. Let's get a few drinks in you. Let's enjoy ourselves, okay? And although it seems like she might have been a little apprehensive, she was like, what can it hurt? You know, I'm out with you guys. Everything will be okay. Now, Liz's friend, I don't know if her name was Celia, whatever. I believe her name was Celia. That's what I'm calling her at this point. I don't really know how to pronounce her name. Celia thoroughly pissed me off within the first two chapters of this book because there is an unwritten rule and it's basically I'm sure it's written down at some point as women when we go out to the club together if we come in together we leave together so don't go sitting here hooking up and partnering up with people and then I look around the club and you're nowhere to be found and that's exactly what they did to Liz and that really made me upset because I'm like y'all know she doesn't go out that much to begin with so why would you leave someone that's not a partier in the club by themselves what is the point of that and when this young man comes up to her by her I mean Liz he introduces himself as Christian Knight so he's like my name is Chris you know what's your name they start to engage in like conversation and from the very beginning I kind of was like girl I think you're telling this man too much of your business like he's asking her you know have you been here before she's saying no she's never been to this club she's new to me she's still new to New York State um He's like, well, where are your friends? Like, did they leave you? And she's like, well, yeah, it seems like it, but I'm sure like I'll pair back up with them soon. Um, I don't really see them, but I'm sure they're in here somewhere. And, you know, she kind of asks him, you, did you come alone? And he kind of sort of says, well, no, not really, but my friends are here, whatever. Um, she steps outside to take a call because her friend, friend, Celia is calling and she steps outside. She's on the phone. She's like, hey, Celia, where are you? Celia's like, Oh, I went home with so-and-so, but I'll see you on Monday. And I was like, so not only did you leave me in the club, you're not going to make sure I get home safe. Like you weren't even going to tell me before you left. You just left. I was so pissed off for Liz. But before Liz can even respond, some man grabs from her from behind, chokes her and like suffocates her until she goes unconscious. She wakes up tied to this bed. And she has no clue where she is. And I'm sitting here like, is it a man that was preying on her? Like, who is it? Because it did say that she walked down a alleyway when she saw these men standing outside of the club. These men. These men <laughs> standing outside of the club. And she said they were sketchy. But my thing was like, girl, who the hell told you to walk down an alleyway if you are already nervous? Like, you're acting like those people in, in the movies do. We don't walk down alleyways any time of day especially not in new york like have you not watched any movies what is going on here but then again she didn't know no better and if her little so-called friends had been there to warn her maybe everything would have been okay so when she wakes up tied to this bed she sees literally severed heads lined up on a table i i i just knew she was a goner okay the young man that captured her it's none other than the young man that introduced himself in the in the bar. 
And he is clearly a nut job because he's like, you only talked to me because I told you my name was Christian King. And she's asking him basically like, who the hell is Christian King? Like, what does that mean? And he's like, you're no different than the other girls who were interested in me because I said my name was Christian King. And she has no clue who, what importance does that have to do with anything? Without giving too much away, she manages to get away, okay? She she's in a she's in a hospital and the the case is getting, you know, investigated cuz this is huge. Like not only was she abducted, but she also saw severed heads and things. Like my thought process is this girl is going to have trauma for days. At first in the hospital room, she was talking about returning back to work in a couple days. I'm like, "Girl, have you lost your mind? This is not over. That man is still running at large. Like it's not over yet." Sure enough, she starts to feel like this man is following her. She's she's looking out the hospital window. She sees him outside. And then to make matters worse, the name that the guy was telling her was his name. He's an imposter. He's not even Christian King. Like, And I'm just like, how are you using another man's name to pick up girls? Like, that is corny. Hmm, is that a New York City man thing? Like, I've never... That's weird. So... Uh, it just it, this book got crazy because she ends up asking the detective john that is investigating her case she's like well i don't feel safe staying at a hotel or staying with my friends can i just stay with you and john is like i don't bring my work home with me like what are you talking about and she's she liz is very um she's intrusive okay she lets her intrusive thoughts get the best of her she asks questions that you're not supposed to ask like if if your daughter's mother is not around anymore why do you have pictures of her on the wall and he's like maybe because she died (laughs) she just puts her foot in her mouth so many times and i'm just like girl are you not taught manners you're not supposed to just ask everything that comes to mind This book was really, really good, okay? I plan on reading more of these books that are in this series. I am super excited about it. If you have not already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I am coming with so many book reviews. You guys will have a to-be-read list that'll be longer than your arm by the time I get done with this first quarter of this year, okay? I am so excited. I look so forward to seeing... Where are my words going? I look so forward. (laughs) I look forward to seeing you in the next book review. Bye.